I guess I can see if I can get my dog into the vet today. His right paw, like in between his webbing, there's a bump and he's been licking at it for a couple weeks and if I push on it, it's definitely painful for him. All right, thank you so much, see you then. All right, bye. Well, we gotta get you to vet today. He's got like this like bumpy thing between his webbing. I think he probably stepped on something and it got infected and it's either inside or it could even be an ingrown hair. We gotta get you taken care of. When I was trimming his nails the other day, I took a look at it and I'm like, there is something there. Let's get it taken care of. Oh, check out the Bruce Wayne. We got like all these awesome colorways of this shirt. Bruce, I love, like I literally love, 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 love this design. It's just sick. So the Avengers of Bruce Wayne today are going to the vet and seeing what they have to say. Got a little big dude back here in the States, man. Just chilling like a villain. Bro, we're matching. We're matchy matchy. Your shirt, my head. I'm just letting Bruce Wayne uh, look at and observe everything right now. Let him chill out a little bit. Already played with him this morning. Got some of his prey drive out of him. He's always got his paw turned sideways as of late, and he's always licking it. Hopefully they can easily fix it without causing him much pain or anything like that. I don't want him to have to numb it up. I don't want him to cut anything out. Maybe like an antibiotic could get rid of the infection. But if there is something lodged in there, I don't know. I've never had anything lodged in there before. We're about to find out shortly. But I figure I should probably give Big Dude a good day since he's gotta go to the vet. And we don't wanna go to the vet, do we? Your nose is dripping. And allergy season is bad right now. Good boy, Bruce. Good boy. Bruce Wayne, let's go. Bruce Wayne, up. Wanna go up in this one? Up. Bruce. Up. Yep. Okay. Yep. Good boy. Bruce, set. Good boy, Bruce Wayne. 135. Good boy, Bruce Wayne. So there's a lot going on right now, which is kind of like why I'm just having Bruce Wayne sit here. Bruce stay on the stay command, just to make sure he's on point. Just a lot of weird things going on. It's like that little kid just ran up on Bruce. There's a woman staring at Bruce right now. She was staring at Bruce. She's gonna kinda give myself some distance from Bruce. On purpose. Good boy, Bruce Wayne, good stay. Bruce, okay, let's go. Good boy, good boy. All righty, Bruce, come here. I'm gonna put your leash on you now. That's a good boy. Bruce Wayne's always making me look good. Guys, if you wanna know how we train Bruce Wayne, I have an awesome ebook coming out actually very soon. It's gonna give all the philosophies, just breaking everything down of, you know, my thoughts on how to train a dog, what we did. Um, and then also, we have extremely detailed video courses for you guys. So check those out, link in the description. We have a puppy training course, a canine boot camp course, a raw feeding course, bundled all together if you wanna get those. Save 10% we use code Jason. And we're gonna just go for a little walk right now, right bro? This place is amazing, but the one thing that I absolutely hate about it is it is tick central here. And as you know, your boy's got chronic Lyme disease. So it always makes me extremely extra cautious with Bruce Wayne who does get a Lyme vaccine and we give him flea tick medicine. Anytime I'm in an area like this when I get home just make sure to thoroughly like brush down Bruce with my hands to make sure see if I can feel anything and it's really hard to feel a tick unless they start to get engulged so typically I'll check again the next day as well. I just thought of something too I wonder if it hurts his I don't think it would hurt to walk on a flat surface but I wonder because of that bump is like up in his toes if it hurts to walk on rocky surfaces because obviously the rocks are pointy and then if it touches that that sore spot it's probably gonna hurt. <laughs> That 
is great for your dog. I'm always getting asked how exercise your dog. One of the most effective things you can do. Hill sprints. A lot of issues with dogs. It's not their front. I mean, they do have front shoulder issues too. The majority of the case, you're going to find it's their hips. So how do you keep their back end strong? You keep them really well muscled. Walking up hills, running up hills, sprinting up hills. All great to work out your dog's back end. You can see how muscular Bruce's back end is. I do a lot of sprint work with him. You can see how the muscles popping out and down there it's popping out. I do a lot of sprint work with him. I do a lot of hill work with him. Because I want those hips supported by strong, a strong butt, strong legs, strong glutes, strong hamstrings. So yeah, I'm not the only one that works out here. Bruce Wayne works out too. Bruce, we've never been over here before. Wait. Your face is a mess. You can't look like this on camera. You got people to look good for. What you seeing? All right, we'll walk up here. So that hill right there, that steep hill down here is what we just ran up and then came back down. And allergy season is like level 10 right now. Me, Kara, and B-dubs have been dying. Got some news coming up I need to share with you guys. But not yet in this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it for like a little chit chat, a little sit down talk together. And just a friendly reminder, it's okay to tell people no, you, they can't pet your dog. I was trying to film something with my camera and my phone and somebody just asked me if they could pet the dog and I was like, I'm sorry, I got too much going on right now, so no. Bruce Wayne how to swim, isn't it, bro? Bro, you can't go swimming. We don't have your life jacket on yet. It gets too deep. I ain't getting in there. It's probably freezing. Bruce Wayne's getting angry waiting for the vet to come out. He's barking at people. <coughs> how you doing? <coughs> oh, dude, you need to chill sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> you need to chill. want that ball, don't you? <laughs> Good stay. Bruce Wayne wants his ball that we're back. Let's not get it stuck in the tree this time. Stay. Go get it! Oh, are you kidding me? Get it! Oh, I suck at life, now I gotta climb the tree. Bro, can you climb the tree? Get it! Go get it, Bruce! Get it! Get it! Go get it! Whoa, where'd it go, bro? Where'd it go? 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 I don't have it. He is so confused. Bruce, come here. Wait. Where'd it go? Bro, where'd it, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Let's go get it. It's out here. Let's go get it. It's out there. There it is! So essentially, the vet thinks he stepped on something, it got stuck in there and caused a little bit of a cyst, so he's on two weeks of antibiotics. Two weeks, bro, antibiotics. Let's go this way. And actually, my vet interaction, I gotta discuss with you guys. Bruce is just peeing right now. Give him a second. At least he didn't pee on his ball this time. Grab it, let's go! I threw pumpkins down here this year, hoping that the seeds would just end up 
growing some pumpkins in the fall. It happened when I was a kid next to our house. Bob just mowed over the pumpkins. You guys won't believe what happened to me at the vet today and what they said to me. Bruce was nervous today, probably because we had the vet appointment outside, which was odd. I need you to just hold on a second before I get deep into the story. We haven't done this yet. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers, guys. We're at like 185, something like that. And I would love to see 200,000 soon. I don't wanna wait months and months and months to see that number. I've never seen that number. Our other channels never hit that. Do Bruce Wayne and myself a favor. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, ring my ding you see me saying those videos on Kane Courses or Bruce Wayne. <laughs> He is paying zero attention to you guys today. The vet's inspecting Bruce Wayne, and I like my vet, so it's not like I'm trying to be a jerk to the vet. Guys, you have to understand, most vets are not dog behaviorists. Most vets aren't dog trainers. They told me not to bring this guy anywhere until he had all his shots, which would have been past his initial crucial 12 week socialization. So I'm glad I never followed that advice. But then it leads me to today. Bruce Wayne was nervous, but we had the inspection basically in my car because they wanted to do it outside. They didn't deem it necessary we had to go in there and the whole New York State mask mandate thing. I'll get down here so you can look at Bruce while I chat with you. So he's he's nervous and she starts going to him, it's okay, it's a good boy, it's a good boy. And I simply said, please don't praise him when he's scared or nervous because it's just teaching him that that's the appropriate behavior. She said, actually it doesn't work that way, but that's beside the point. And I said, actually it does work that way, so please don't do it, it's my dog. A lot of people are afraid to be very forward with vets and doctors and even other strangers, which I find strange. If somebody's doing something to my dog, that I love, who's like my baby, I'm going to tell them not to do it, and I'm gonna tell them how to behave. Just because you're at a veterinarian office, doesn't mean they have the right to do everything they want to your dog, if it's going to, if it's something you don't want them to do. Be it how they are handling the dog, how they are talking to the dog, their energy levels around the dog. I don't know how many times I've had to tell the vet or vet techs to just calm down because they come in, to the room sometimes all high pitched because they're really excited to see him, which then gets him all going and riled up. And it's like, why do you want a 155 pound dog riled up right before you're about to examine them? Makes no sense. So I'll be like, hey, can you just chill out and just, you know, be calm and not even pay attention to the dog? That way he chills out. Heed my advice. Don't listen to everything your vet says if you know it's not right for you and your dog. Drop. Good. Stay. Okay. I worked a lot, a lot with Bruce today. He's really sharp today on point. He wasn't earlier. He's being slow. I'd tell him to sit and he'd look at me and he would sit, but it was like, I don't want to sit, but I will. And I'm going to do it really slow. So just drills all day long. Drills, 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 drills. Back to being militant with him. You guys should actually check out the training courses I have linked in the description below. Everyone's always like, how do you get Bruce Wayne like that? And it's essentially exactly the philosophy behind how I train this dude. This is his favorite outdoor toy, but I gotta be careful that I don't, he doesn't like break my wrist with it. It's a ball and he folds it in half and it's got a handle here. So if you hold the handle and he shakes his head, it can easily snap your wrist because his neck is thick and I have big hands. And this one here, not feeling that great. Still fighting through it though. Don't worry about me. Your boy's good. Just need to go get some rest right now. And we will see you guys in the next one. Merch box down below. I seriously love, 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 love these designs. Got three colorways, three colorways. Go get you some.